behind here. Time oh, running Derek, out. What a moment Stewart. this could be. Oh, a tremendous goal! Vanessa gets into the back of the net. Take a bow. What is going on and welcome everyone to this FIFA 23 player career mode video. In today's guide we'll be covering the Norwegian legend Erling Haaland in the striker position and the first thing you want to do is head on over to the player profile section, set your position to attacker, your role as the striker, the height at a whopping 6.4 which is going to be 163 centimeters, your weight at 189 pounds which is anywhere between 85 to 86 kilograms and your preferred foot to be accurate with the player you want to put that to left but you can change that to right that has no bearing on anything. And now let's head on over to the perks section and the two that we decided to go with initially are going to be active first touch in conjunction with tireless runner. The reason we selected those is because the player is really tall and weighs 189 pounds. So given the way FIFA works, this is going to be a very slow build. So we use these two to make up a lot of sprint speed and acceleration and it works wonderfully. And I will show you examples shortly on how this player became a really fast build. And now as for the third perk itself, that's going to be poacher, which is going to boost our shooting capabilities from inside the box. And now before we head on to the player attributes, if this build needs to be accurate, then the first thing you want to do is head on over to running style and you want to change that to the Norse. And as for the celebration, you want to select the one that is called point. And now onto the physical attributes. The first thing we want to do is invest a lot of points in this section to be build accurate, to end up with a 94 in jumping, 94 in stamina, 93 in reactions, 93 in strength, and 83 in aggression. And this is very important for this build. And as you can see in this example over here, aside from showing a lot of pace when getting the through ball, when we're challenged on the ball, we don't lose it easily and we're able to get through the defender. Here's another example. As you can see over here, once again, I'm challenged by the defender, but I was able to make it through and not lose the ball and get the pass through to end up with a goal. And now on for their dribbling attributes. In this part, we're also going to focus on both sides of the skill tree to end up with 78 in agility, 88 in balance, 100 in attack positioning, 95 in ball control, 85 in dribbling. And as you can see, I removed one of the attack positioning attributes right now to gain two skill points back. And now on to passing. In this section, we're also going to focus on both sides of the skill tree to end up with a 72 in vision, 76 in short pass, and a 76 in curve. Now, before we head on to the shooting section, if you enjoyed this content, please consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button. And for more career mode content, join my Discord server which I will leave a link for in the description section and the pinned comment section. Now, as for shooting, in this part, we're also going to focus on both sides of the skill tree to end up with 101 in finishing, 98 in free header accuracy, 89 in shot power, 88 in long shots, 96 in volleys, 80 in penalties, and 4-star weak foot ability. Now, every resource online says that Haaland should not be placed at more than 3-star weak foot. I did not find that accurate. I think the build deserves to be at least at a 4-star. And now, let us see some examples of finishing before we head on over to the pace section. Now this build is absolutely phenomenal and finishing in every given situation. This direct shot or this one at an angle over here with our heading accuracy scoring headers, whether we're running individually against the goalkeeper and going for the near post or even if we're shooting from outside the box for the far post. Everything is going in and the attributes really help us be a complete striker and absolute stunning finisher. And now let's head on over to the pace section. And as you can see, our acceleration and sprint speed at this moment is 78 and 86 respectively. But this is not entirely accurate because I, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the tireless runner and active first touch perks are really going to boost our acceleration and sprint speed. And I will show you examples of exactly what I mean right now. An unfortunate feature in FIFA 23 player career mode is that the player's height and weight is linked directly to his sprint speed and acceleration. Fortunately for us, we can do things such as select the perks that I selected initially in this video, the tireless runner and the active first touch that are really going to give us a boost to get behind the defense and finish the ball. Now this is, as you can see in this example, I'm able to get ahead of the defense really quickly and boost my acceleration and sprint speed and this way my actual sprint speed and acceleration do not reflect the actual speed. And now let's head on over to the player personality section. This is what I always recommend. You get a 50 in Maverick, 30 in Heartbeat, and 20 in Virtuoso. And the reason I say that is because 50% in Maverick is going to unlock the entire personality tree to give us plus 5 in penalties, free kick accuracy, dribbling, ball control, acceleration, sprint speed, and finishing. And 30% in Heartbeat is going to give us plus 5 in volleys, vision, reaction, and attack positioning. And 20% and in Virtuoso is going to give us plus 5 in stamina and composure. Most importantly is the 50% in Maverick because that is going to give us plus 5 in acceleration and sprint speed which as you can see we really need in this build due to the height and weight and now if you have not checked out my video on how to win the player of the year award the ballon d'or you can probably do it with this build itself i'll go ahead and leave a link for that one on the end screen thank you for watching until the next time stay safe and keep on keeping on